All right. Yo, yo, yo. Huh. Huh. Excuse me. I am pretty much ready to go. So, we uh, had some revelations last time, which I guess we're going to be chasing after today. First up, Gendal Office. I've been waiting for you, Yagami-san. We can go see Ayabe whenever you want. We'll just need to grab a taxi to get there. Oh. Okay, let's go do that then. Because now we gotta defend Ayabe, who may or may not be uh, framed for the murders. <laughs> likely that he is being non-duty detective arrested for murder <laughs> now this is a shock try not to look so happy about it then this is hoshino sensei from the genda law office he's young but he's reliable oh here i thought the great takayuki yagami would represent me it's been years since i defended someone in court i'll still be gathering all the evidence though don't worry it worked for hamra i'm hoshino I'll do whatever it takes to clear your name. You sure, kid? Shintani was practically your boss, yeah? If I'm really the killer... Well, I mean, you're not the killer, right? Uh, he's not the killer, is he? <laughs> probably not. What do you mean, probably? You get the facts straight before I can defend Ayabe. I hear your gun's the one Shintani was murdered with. Yep. Apparently the rifling on the bullet matched. Um, what's rifling again? Really? Uh, sorry. So, guns have these spiral-shaped grooves on the inside of the barrel to stabilize the bullet's trajectory. These grooves are called the rifling, and leave a mark on the bullet itself. Whoa. Now, the rifling's slightly different on every gun. Kinda like its fingerprints. And apparently, the marks on the bullet that killed Shintani matched my gun's rifling. So your gun must have killed Shintani-sensei? Yeah. It was the murder weapon, for sure. Mm. So, someone used my gun to commit the crime, and I'm being set up. But how? You remember the day he died? We were having a nice stiff drink at Tender. You, me, and Kaito. Yeah, I remember. That was my first time meeting Kuroiwa. I hung around after you guys beat it. It wasn't a while till I decided to go home. Thing is, I don't remember what happened next. Huh? Someone smacked me in the back of the head. Crept up so I couldn't see him. You got ambushed? Where was this? Close to the bar, I bet. But... I'm not sure. It all happened so damn fast. Some great detective work there. What do you expect? Whoever knocked me out moved me, too. That just fucks with things even more. Moved you to where? Random bench. Over in the Kamurocho Children's Park. Not a soul around when I came to. That's a ways from Tender. They must have taken you in a car. How long were you out for? Hour so, Tops. But as I found out later, that hour's when Shintani was murdered. With my fucking gun. So the real killer still has your gun? No. It was in its holster when I woke up. Wait, what? Whoever attacked me took my gun, murdered Shintani, 
and put it back where they found it, all within the course of an hour. So the only thing missing was a bullet? Not even that, if you believe it. They got rid of any sign it had ever been used. Maybe if we look at the bullet from Shintani's body... Not gonna happen. Nothing spectacular about a single bullet. Can't prove the murderer stole the gun. By the way, did you tell anyone you got attacked? No. I mean, nothing even got stolen. Reporting it just would have put me in more trouble. Don't want to draw attention to your side job, huh? Sucks being a dirty cop. A real detective could have reported it. Ah, huh. can't argue there. The culprit must have been counting on that, though. They went after you specifically because they knew you wouldn't make a big deal out of it. So it was all planned? Planned or not, the bullet that killed Shintani ended up with your gun's rifling marks on it. There's no denying that. Yep. I only found out when they hauled me in, though. No surprise they suspect me. There's no reason not to at this point. But none of my co-workers said a damn word. Hey, you know how Kuroi always been dragging me all over town with him? He probably just wanted to make sure I didn't skip town. Only just realized that now. What did you say is your alibi? That you were knocked out in the park? <sighs> Not a very believable story. Come on. You and I both know I didn't kill him. Somebody's pinning it on me. <sighs> what do you say, Yagami? You think I got a chance? <laughs> You'll be just fine. That was a dumb question. Nobody's gonna tell a guy his head's on the chopping block. Listen up, Oshinokun. Ayabe was set up by whoever killed Shintani. That's what we've got to work to prove. You really trust Ayabe-san? What if he's lying to us? He might be a dark stain on the forest, but he's a decent guy. Smart, too. He wouldn't kill, especially not with his own gun. Someone else did this. You think it's the mole? That's the most obvious suspect. Let's start by talking to someone close to the case. I've got a guy in mind. Which would be... Oh, Captain Hamura. Mm-hmm. But nobody knows where he is, right? That's true. I wonder what Matsugane-san's thoughts are, though. If anyone's gonna know where to find Hamra, it's him. <laughs> Good. Well, I'll head back to the office, then. I should tell Genda-sensei what we learned. Find a way to meet Matsugane. I guess someone's going to call me about it soon. Ask her out. Ah, understood. Text her another time, dude. What she's up to. Such 
such a sweetie. What does he get all the special treatment? <laughs> the pangs of jealousy, huh? Oh? Good word. About to make your debut. Amazing. I know that's got an in with Matsugane. If I had where is it? Not bartender. It's the um, not club of more. It's uh, KJ Art. Where is KJ Art again? There. Let's head over to KJ Art. You asked. guys Is that a person? Kind of hard to tell from down here. Time to let the pigeon spread its wings. What the fuck? Ha, huh. I knew that was a person. But why is it dressed up like a ninja? Oh. So, you have discovered me at last! Ah. Oh man, that guy just ate shit. Maybe I should check on him. How impressive. For no one has seen past my chameleon camouflage and lived to tell the tale. Nin, nin. Alas, forgive my rudeness. I am known as Ryan Acosta, the number one ninja beneath the rising sun. Believe it! Me to ask thy name, Yagami. And I shall call you Mr. Master Yagami, a fitting title for a man of such high caliber. However, this will not happen the next time. Believe it. And now I will take my leave. Farewell! Okay. What the hell was that? Oh. 
I guess I can't meet Matsugane that way. Hmm. Let's head to Tender real quick. you to find a cat and one of my agency's top talents has gone entangled in quite a mess okay yeah let's take these Someone who has an in. Oh, Charles. It might be Charles. Just realized. It is probably Charles. Anyway, let's do this, uh. Let's do these missions first, these side stories. on the rooftop. You want me to meet at? Right? What is this? Yeah, happy family rooftop. Maybe I beat them here? Guess I can afford to wait a while. Are you Yagami? Mm hmm. Yes, from Yagami Detective Agency. You're Wang San, I take it? Yes, I am Ron, Ruan Wang. I apologize for calling you out to a place like this. I do not want anyone to listen in on our conversation. This Japanese is a little stiff. Judging from his name, maybe he's Chinese? Hmm. That said, he sure stands out. I wonder what he does. Excuse me. You had a job for me, right? Yes. As I have written, I want you to search for a cat. This one. Photo of Zhang Qi. Aw, cute. The missing cat. Seems straightforward enough. Its name is Zhuang Shi. He is wandering around Kamarocho, but he is too quick for me to catch. Is he an out indoor cat who got out, or does he take strolls like this often? More of the latter. I should say, Song Shi isn't my cat. 
He is the pet cat of someone who passed away recently. Mm -hmm. Someone? Our boss. And let us simply say I am deeply in debt to him. This is getting sketchier and sketchier. Are these guys triads? We don't know where Zong Shi is. Uh, where Zong Shi went after the boss passed. It is well known that he adored this cat. Even in his will, Zhuang Shi was the first order of business. Sounds like a cat guy, all right. Yes, that is why we must find Zhuang Shi and keep him safe. He cannot be allowed to become under the stray. Right. Well, I think everything's clear. But I admit, I thought we'd be talking about something a lot more secretive. Was coming here necessary? Yes. You see, another executive member of our organization is also frantically seeking Zhuang Shi. Zhuang Shi cannot fall into this man's hands. And if he hears we are searching too, he will most certainly attempt to sabotage our efforts. I don't understand. Why can't you let this other guy find the cat? That man does not seek the cat to repay our boss's kindness. He harbors no such sentimentality. No, to him, all he sees is the true value of Zhuang Shi. True value? He knows the cat to be of tremendous value. He has said as much. This cat could change the face of our entire organization in truth. This must be some cat. Secrets of cats. I myself do not understand, but I know the man, and I know he will go to any means possible to find the cat. But to see Zhuang Shi handed over to someone out of pure self-interest would be devastating. How can someone who only sees an animal for its value to be expected uh, be expected to care for its well-being. Hmm. Is the cat made of gold or something? How the heck does a cat have this much value? I will not lie. This job may be dangerous. I will pay you 400,000 yen. Woo! Will you accept yep. it? Yeah, that's fine. I'll take the case. Thank you. I look forward to seeing Zhuang Shi soon. find a thousand street cats to see before I found the right one. Hmm. Maybe I can find someone who knows a little more about cats that can help me. Find someone who knows about cats. That would be down here in the cat cafe. Well, not here. It's one more down. Yeah. Excuse me. Um, excuse me, I was hoping you could help me find this missing cat in this photo. I do feel like I've seen that collar before. You have. Yeah, I meet a lot of kitties when I go out gathering strays. I probably ran across him, but couldn't catch him. Oh yeah, it was around Tai Hai Boulevard. He was wandering in that area. Tai Hai Boulevard. Thank you. Cats aren't the most trusting little guys. They run away if you just come right up to them. Several tricks actually, but you need to catch the cat's interest like a toy or something. So that moves or food works too. Mm. Okay, I, I guess I gotta go buy more cat food. I think the the uh, popos sell cat food, right? Be working on Tekken. Can't stay down. Boulevard. Oh, just up this way.
I heard... Meow. Meow. Oh, wow. Out of the way! Oh my god, this battle is just me. Shit. I guess no one's watching at the moment, so... Whatever. Guess I'll just do it anyway. Well, I guess I could do this on my own. Can I? Uh, I'll wait. I'll wait. Uh, if anybody pops up, then... I'll get it. Anyway, I hear a cat. <laughs> He's so cute. Where's that? Yeah, okay. Boy, here, kitty kitty. It's pretty tasty, right? Yeah, that's right. You smell this? Wait, wait. I'm not hungry. Oh, I'm going into Millennium Tower. Why do the doors even open for cats? I guess I'll start the battle anyway and see where it goes. Oh, it's a it's a boss. I'll throw my war beast down. Way above me. Oh god. That is a lot of meowing. Is it on this drone? Oh, there's one. Hey. That is a different cat. Hey, it's a cat, but it's not Zhuangzi. Oh, there she is. 
or what the? E? I don't know what it is. There he is. It's got to be Zonchi. Of course, I can't reach him. What should I do? Something that moves would entice him. What do I have? I have a drone. That's right, kitty. You know what's good. Hey, I think this is this just might work. Huh? Uh huh. What the fuck? What? Since when do they shoot lasers? Whoa! Who would dare attempt to beat me to this cat? Hey, what are you doing? Seeks vlog she as well. Was it Wong who hired you? This is the guy Wong San was talking about, who wants Wang Shi for selfish reasons. Sorry, but my client's none of your business. And you're not getting that cat. If words would not make you see, there are other ways. You'll just have to die. This again. What's this cat mean to you? Why are you so desperate to get to him? The kingdom is at stake, and that cat is the crown. Hmm? The crown? You want to be less cryptic? If you think this is just some alley cat, you're wrong. Get in the way again, and I won't hesitate to kill you. How the hell is a cat a crown? Not something I should take literally, I guess. Now, I better get this fixed and then figure out how to deal with that weird weapon. I think Maki Harakun is the guy for this. Sorry for calling you out suddenly, Maki Harakun. <laughs> it's no problem. I was bored anyway. What happened to your drone? Are you flying recklessly? Uh, I got into an argument with a real jerk and he shot it down. Wow, some people are so petty. Right? But, do you think it can be repaired? Hi! Yeah, man, no, no problem. This will be cake. Great. But, uh, while we're at it, I don't want it to get shot again. Do you have anything bulletproof? Why, why would you plan on getting it shot again, Yagui-san? Yeah. Well, I seem to run into a lot of jerks in my line of work. Let's see. In that case, sometimes a good defense is a good offense. Why not shoot them first? Shoot them first? You mean, like, add a gun mod? Yeah, something like that. But that would be kind of costly. How much? I think it, it could, I could do it for 100,000 yen. Eh, pretty steep. Eh, I'll pay it. Technically, then, my job, this job would only pay me 300,000 yen. Whatever. It's not like I spend that much money <gasps> in this game anyway. Nice. The drone community doesn't need any murder mechs up there. I want a murder mech. Right. Let's see if we can get the cat to follow the drone. Oh, nice. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Ah. <laughs> what is this? But this time... Oh my god. Oh my god, what? 
I thought this was gonna be a fucking cutscene. Oh, Jesus. Fuck you. <laughs> this this seems highly illegal. <laughs> All right, got it. You're watching Drone Wars, is what? <laughs> what do you think of this? Say kill you if you interfered again. Didn't I say I wouldn't be giving up on this cat? <sighs> Such a stubborn man. But fine. If you would just cooperate with us, I will double the amount your client is offering. Huh? I don't even cooperate. I don't even know you. Fine. I'll explain what this is truly about. Her boss died with a considerable fortune, but it is hidden. Hmm? Hidden? Yes. He was a very secretive man, and his fortune is stashed in a secret warehouse. But he was so wary of traitors that not even his closest advisors know of his warehouse's location. Which means that he died with a secret. Yes, and now do you see? There is one who knows, in some way. You mean, the cat? Yes, as long as she was given free reign over the city. And frequently followed him to his warehouse. Which means the cat will seek his dead master there soon. And all we need to do is follow it. Then you don't need the cat at all, you just want him to lead you somewhere. That's right, the cat is useless after that. He who obtains this fortune will rule over the entire organization. Right, the cat is the crown. I get it now. A pity that Wong did not mention, uh, did not understand its true value. I see, I think I understand things pretty clearly now. And how about it? Will you cooperate? No. Sorry to make you reveal the whole plan, but I'm not really the type to betray my clients for money. Then I will silence your impudent mouth here and now. This will be your grave. Not a wise choice. Damn, that does a ton of damage. Oh, the sword broke. Damn. Yeah, they really don't want you to use, uh, quote-unquote, deadly weapons in this game, huh? Bring a bigger, a bigger crowd next time. Damn you! Where's that cat? Huh? Meow. <laughs> hmm? Meow. Are you hungry now, guy? Uh, meow. Did you remember that I had food? You're a smart one, huh? You know how much trouble you caused me, though. Typical cat, I guess. What's this writing? Huh? Isn't this an address? I had it wasn't a secret. It's written right on the cat's tag. Not even a triad boss could think straight when it comes to his pets, huh? Maybe he figured if the cat could trust you, so could he. The guy loved you, kitty. Meow. Incredible. That address was written plain as day on the collar. 
Highly unlike a man who is uh, usually known for his caution. Well, I suppose he wanted people to know where to bring the cat if he ever got lost. Yes, I think it's safe to say he valued Zhuang Shi above all else. And that is why I will protect him for as long as he lives. <laughs> you hear that, kitty? You gotta learn to like Wang San here. He's your new owner. Thank you for your hard work, Yagami. You're welcome. If you ever need anything else, you know where to reach me. Indeed. I shall take my leave, then. Sounds like Wang San got a new cat and a lot of money to look after him with. But the leader trusted him. And more importantly, so does the cat. Alright, so that was the end of that side story. Okay, I'll be right back. Just give me a little minute here. BRB.
right, so my next mission, go to the Hotel Deborah. Which is, Hotel Deborah is like in Theater Square, right? If I remember correctly. Or is it in the hotel district? Hmm. Well, heading north anyway. Hotel New Deborah. Wait. Sixth floor hallway. Is this not, is this not where they want me to meet? Sixth floor hallway of Hotel New Deborah, in Theater Square. Oh, I should go in the day. Oh. Okay, I guess I can't really uh, do the side story until later then, huh? In that case, I still need to find out. Uh, I'd like to celebrate. Meet in front of Camaro Theater. Is this where you always meet your, your girls, Yagami? Damn, Yagami's a ladies' man. Just meeting up girls all over the place. Whatever happened to the panty girl? She had an English VA. Maybe I should go check the uh, agency headquarters to see if I can get missions with them. Yagami-san, thank you so much. Yeah, yeah. Let's talk. Oh, she okay. got a record. Whoa. <laughs> let's go to the arcade. Okay. Oh god, it's it's the stalker model. Greetings, songstress of Kamurocho. Oh, um, hi there, Kabata-san. <laughs> so I heard you're finally singing with the label. I see you've done very well for yourself. Thank you so much! Uh, thank you? Of course, still looking beautiful as ever, I see. Heh, <laughs> you know I even bought a new phone just to take your picture. Even the oil in your pores show up on this thing. Oh, Um, uh... ew. <laughs> By the way, who's this you're hanging out with? Uh, that would be just a friend. <laughs> nice jaggy to go out there. Where'd you get it? Janky jackets for jackasses.com? Wow. Speaking of websites, I made you a Sanachan fan shrine. You should check it out. I'm pretty much your biggest admirer, so could I, like, have your contact information so I could send you the URL? Uh... Thanks, but I'd rather not give that out. Don't worry, I promise not to share with anyone weird. And I'll make sure not to bother you late at night. Much. Yeah, so I don't mean to interrupt, but we were on our way somewhere, but thank you for voicing your support. Can I, 
guy just now. Is he also one of your fans? Yeah. Kabata-san? Yeah, he's been one of my biggest supporters since I was just a country gal experimenting with music. I mean, sure, his fan letters are a bit passionate at times, and yes, he does seem a bit odd, but he's not a bad person. If you say so. I hope I didn't give him the wrong impression. Oh, uh... What do you mean? Well, what if he... I don't know. I thought we were dating. Wouldn't that hurt your image as an up-and-coming singer? Oh! I could see how that makes sense. Grabbing something to eat in public doesn't seem like such a hot idea anymore. What if we run into more of his kind? But... Aw, our day's totally ruined. I was looking forward to it, too. Yeah, I know. Chat my office? <laughs> In that case, how about we head to my place? Huh? You mean... Yeah, we won't have to worry about anyone seeing us there. Hey. Wait, are you saying you want to? <laughs> does that mean what I think it does? Huh? Huh? Uh, what I meant was, why don't we head over to my office? I also happen to live there, so... Just think of it as stopping by my workplace. Okay, then. Oh, that makes sense. Okay, then. Yeah, so that wasn't awkward at all. <laughs> so, this is your home office? It's actually pretty stylish. I like it. Thanks. I try and spiff it up for my clients every now and then. Really? There's supposed to be some a bed somewhere, though, since you live here and all. I just sleep on the sofa. Saves space. Saves money. Saves time. Really? <laughs> You're silly. Not to mention a bit wild. Speaking of wild, I forgot to forage for food. Literally. There's nothing in the fridge. Some host I am. No! Oh, that's okay. Hey. Actually, I was thinking that maybe I could cook for you. Huh? Would you? Sure, I can make you pretty much anything as long as I have the ingredients. Well, then I'll be right back! Okay. Want me to go with you? Can't help but feel a little bad about this. <laughs> worried, Yagami-san. Don't be. I enjoy this. All right. <laughs> Ta-da! All done. Whoa. Give it a try. It's my special curry, made with an extra dash of dashi to give it that unique Japanese flavor. Hope you like it. I should make Japanese curry again. You have no idea how much I appreciate this. Bought so much random stuff. What all? What all did she use to make this? I can tell she added mirin to the base. And this vegetable here is this daikon radish. And there's the chicken. It's soft. It's moist and full of natural curry uh, spice flavor. And normally I'd think that curry and dashi would clash, but Sanachan managed to give them an even balance. What do you think? I gotta let her know how I feel about this dish. Sing her praises. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is it good? It's not just good, it's <laughs> Look at his face. It's delicious. That is the most awkward smile I've ever seen. Jesus. Huh? Really? Oh, yeah, it's mouth watering, mind blowing, life changing, even. Huh? Like it that much? Oh, I love it that much. Even the inventor of curry could probably learn a thing or two from you. Yeah. Yay. Is this, gonna, is this gonna freeze like that? What the fuck? <laughs> so, let's talk. Something we could talk about. What made you get into music? I am. Um... <laughs> mm. Happy to hear it. Oh, Yagami-san. Yeah! By the way! Why did I become a detective? Hmm. Because we don't need to wear suits. <laughs> really? Okay. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Huh? <laughs> uh, 
Okay, yeah, that's a relief, sure. Oh, Yagimi-san! Oh, Yagimi-san! She's asking if I have a girlfriend. I, he's technically still single, yeah. Really? Yeah! Oh! Take a picture. Okay. Now. Uh, looks good. Yeah! And the conversation. Huh? Can we just... <laughs> Uh, ask her to stay the night. Remind her it's getting late. Oh man, I don't know. I don't know. This is a tough decision. Hmm. She's cool. I think I like the other girl more though. She was more interesting. I don't know. I don't know. Fuck it. Let's go all out. Huh? Hmm. Hey. Uh... Oh right. Has to sleep on the sofa. <laughs> hmm. Really? Huh? Huh? <laughs> oh. Enjoying her private time. Oh my god. <laughs> Thanks, I guess. Huh? Hmm? No. He's not a stalker, he's a passionate fan. The stuff he posts about you sounds way more pissed than passionate. Oh. Uh. Hmm. Like a, a lunatic about how you, you were breaking the idle code. Uh, we got a stalker's mission coming up. Yeah. Yagami-san. Intimacy up! <laughs> Thank you so much! Make me more next time. Okay, let's see. Uh, it's heading to Charles, yeah. Because I think, uh, what was the name? Hiragashi, or whatever his name was. Like, he, he has some ways to uh, get me to go talk to Matsugani, right? That is not Charles. Charles is just a little bit further up over here. Charles. Okay. Battle time.
Who's this from? Look out, the Kaihin gang are after you. Huh? Looking for Higashi Anaki? He's back in his office. What do you want? Sticking your nose where it doesn't belong again? I need to know where Hamura is. Still hiding. Not a clue where. What about Matsugane-san? Is he back at the office? Use your head, talk. No way he's gonna stick around there. Kaito-san? Hamura and the boss are in the same boat. Those Kyorei assholes would hunt him down in an instant if they were easy to track. Exactly. Wherever they are now, they're safe. No idea where that'd be, though. Can't you at least get in touch with them? Just say we want to have a few words. I can try. I'll let you know once I figure shit out. You know how to pick up a phone, yeah? Yeah, thanks. Hoshino-kun told me about Ayabe. Said the mole framed him. Guess he's really behind all of this. Yep. Which brings us right back to Hamra. We'll start from him and go from there. Plain and simple. Let's just hope Matsugane-san knows where he is. Well, no point worrying about that until Higashi gets back to us. Let's hit it. So we just gotta wait now, huh? Okay. Um... Yes, we're doing this. Kaito, help me. Kaito? That does so much damage. Like that palm strike thing. Holy shit. What a waste. Let's roll, Tom. I, I should head back to the detective agency see if there's any side quests on the board there that I've uh, missed out on. the room. Okay. Um. <laughs> you could just place your fucking gotchas. That's funny. Wow, freeform placement too. That's actually really impressive. It's like not on a grid. So you could just do whatever the fuck. There you go. Interesting. Oh, cool. Oh. Really not many places you can uh, play stuff. I guess it makes sense. 
Let's roll. This pinball and all that. I guess I can't take any take up any side missions at the moment. Because uh, I'm just hanging around, and Kaito here is like following me around. So. <laughs> mm, excuse me. Guess I'll check the club Sega. What do we got? Fighting Vipers. Fantasy Zone. Yeah. Oh, Poyo Poyo. What about this? Virtual Fighter 5? Oh man, I'm so bad at Virtual Fighter. But I'm also really bad at Poyo Poyo. Let's play Poyo Poyo. Ringo's fine. Ringo's the Ryu of this series. Oh, Jesus. Reminds me, I should probably play uh, Poyo Poyo uh, Tetris 2 one day. Even though I'm awful at it. Oops. Damn. Set that one up there. Down Fucker! Yeah, big chains! Big chains! Oh, damn. Okay, uh... I need a trigger. Oh my god, I did it! Oh god, it just keeps going! Guess it makes sense. It's a fucking arcade game. God. Oh god, it's really bad. Damn it. Oh, that fucked up my chain. Oh well. It's fine. I gotta clear these like garbage blocks anyway. Big chains, big chains! Uh, I almost got it. And then one part of it just kind of like fucked up because I didn't set it up right. Damn it. Oh, 
fuck. Oh. Game over. Oh wait, no it isn't. Shit. Clear that. Come on. Ah, oh, crap. Oh, that didn't do what I wanted it to do. Shit. Fuck! Oh, I keep blocking myself. Shit. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Puyo Puyo is hard. <laughs> Try again. It's because Puyo is like a whole different like skill set compared to Tetris. This is all about building up potential combos. Bitch. Oh, I fucked up. Oh no. Yeah, whatever. Mm. Bitch. Okay, no, that's fine. Yeah. This is fine. We can still build this. I'll drop one of you here. And you can go over here. Fucker. Yeah. Oh, this is bad. Yeah. Damn it. Fuck, I was gonna trigger that one too. Ah! Uh... This bitch. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I gotta start clearing some of these. Mm -hmm. Just get it out of the way. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is gonna be nice. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, okay, never mind. Misread that. God, this AI is fucking me so hard. Ugh. 
Wow, that was that was like slightly worse than before. How do I get out of this? Wait, how do I get out of this? <laughs> oh, okay, exit. There we go. Oh man. I quite like Poyo, but like, holy crap, it is a whole other, like, set of skills. <clears throat> that I do not have. Sega! Really, he still hasn't called after that. Alright, let's try this one, Fighting Vipers. Uh, I... Oof. I don't remember this one at all. I'm gonna play as this guy because he looks cool. Round one. Oh, Let Jesus. Action begin. Go. Oh, oh. oh, no. Oh, no. What, what are my buttons? Punch, kick, grabs. Okay. Oh, Jesus. I've never played this game before. Kinda looks like Virtual Fighter. The fuck do you block? Oh! Round two. Go. Oh. G isn't grab, it's guard. Oh, I see. Okay. Yes! Not, not good with that one. Holy shit! Let's roll, Still not calling, huh? Let's play Virtual Fighter Five. I'm so bad at Virtual Fighter. Oh my god. Round one. Ready? Go! Excellent! Round two. Ready? Go! Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Oh my god. the midpoint of the uh, arcade campaign which means like this is where the difficulty just wraps the fuck up God. Virtual Fighter is such a weird fighter. I, I'm just not used to it. Jesus. Oh God, it's over. Continue. <laughs> I <laughs> Jesus. Let's hit it. Higashi, you gotta call me. I just forced Kaito to watch me uh, play arcade games. Here we are. Hello? Yo, it's Higashi. Yo. Hey, any word from Matsugane-san? What'd he say? Meet at a restaurant called Kamuro Kikunoya. On the ways out of the city. Take a cab. Boss is already there. Got it. Thanks, Higashi. Don't keep him waiting. Let's go. Where you go?
Last wave. Oh my god. Battle time. Oh, wait. Oh. Oh, I, I saw that wrong. Oh, it's because <laughs> Sean plays the thing. Uh, well, I mean, we only got one minute. Fuck it. Let's start early. Let's start early. More enemies will be revealed? Yeah, I think we got this. Really, not that many enemies. <laughs> Just a bunch of chests. Big boss. Big boss fights. Uh, wait, hold on. What? what oop, uh, oop, uh, 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 quest? Uh, uh. Two berserkers? I could do that. <laughs> War Beast might have been overkill. Nah. <laughs> You know, you, you gotta teach the AI a lesson. So, go all out or go home. Matsugane san, our guests have arrived. Good. Please. Take a seat. It's been some time, Tuck. And you I haven't seen since your expulsion. Yes, sir. Matsugane-san, I'm sure Higashi mentioned this, but I want to ask you directly. 
Come now. Let's at least have a drink first, huh? <laughs> if you say so. Here. Place is pretty fancy. It's been a while since the three of us drank. Tuck, I have a favor to ask. You need to stay away from Hamura. Uh, what? This family is nothing without him. Well, he's the only thing keeping us afloat. Yeah, you told me that already. Where is he? I don't know. He has no reason to keep me informed of his every move. Then why did you call us here? We didn't need to come all this way if that's all you had to tell us. Boys! Uh... Boss? I don't... Understand. My boy. You need to stay away from Hamura. The mole's my top priority now. And Hamura is the only person I can ask. Don't you understand? Hamura's been compromised. Him and that mole you're chasing, they're in this together. Time to let it go. I need you guys to start explaining to what me what's I going no? on. <laughs> I couldn't tell you what might happen. He's dangerous. Like, what, what's the deal what here? What do you mean, he's dangerous? Bruh. If you can't tell me that, why should I stop? Amura. The boy has money on his side, and a lot of it. And I don't know who he gets it from. I suggest you don't push the matter. But if Government? you really want to put yourself in harm's way, then let me be the one to do it. At least then you'll make it out alive. You'd do that? You know, you and Kaito, well, I've always tried to keep you two kids safe. All this time, I've never asked for anything in return. But here we are. This is the only thing that I'll ever ask of you. Abandon this pursuit of the mole. If you've ever held a shred of regard for me, then heed this one request. I'm not turning back. The risk doesn't matter anymore. Okubo, the mole, the ADDC, it all connects. This isn't about what regard I have for you. I won't stop. Then I'm sorry. <clears throat> Boss. I've always looked up to you. And good Yakuza don't disobey. But now... I'm in Yagami's corner, damn it. You're gonna fight this old man? <laughs> Yes, that you are. Is he suddenly gonna be like... Matsugane-san! No, Matsugane! Higashi. And again, you always were a Yakuza, <laughs> Sir. so... Pick your side. Oh, shit. I've had enough. You're Matsugane, are you not? I am, boss. <laughs> Prove it, then. Oh, shit. Bad luck, dude. Guess we're doing this, huh? Not like we got a choice. And now that we're up against the wall, you're just gonna have to do it. Let's see what you've got! I'm sure he's gonna be just fine.
time to die! Oh shit! That was sick! Oh my god. Oh, I can't block against knife attacks. Oh my god, he's dead. Simple for you two. Far too simple. Makes me realize how old I really am. It's a shame, isn't it? That I've all but faded away. Ah, uh, time sure flies, my boy. Just gets worse and worse with every year. Damn tragic. Matsukane. God, I gotta like. I have to clean this controller <laughs> often. And stay down, asshole! Looking forward to the day when they release a black Not controller. Be that easy. Huh. You're really laying it on him, Kaito. Oh, boss. Oh, flashback. Is this the Yagami kid you were talking about? Yep. Happens every fucking time I run into the guy. So, asshole. You, uh, get some kind of sick pleasure out of him beating the crap out of you? He looks like a completely time time, different person. Just keep Damn. coming back for seconds. You all right in the brain, kiddo? I'm saying than you, you Bullshit Yakuza. <laughs> huh. Bullshit Yakuza, huh? Some rotten attitude you got there. Hey, why don't you go fuck yourself? Who the fuck do you think you are? Huh? <laughs> Back in the day, I was a lot more like you than I think you even know. I was in a real bad place, so I just started punching anything that pissed me off. And before long, 
My time was up. Nowhere left for me to go except this cesspool of a city. And you, my boy, that's exactly where you are. Don't talk like you know me. You don't know shit. Oh, but I do, you see. When I was your age, my life was going down the shitter and I just kept flushing. And now, <laughs> you, my boy, you're the same little punk I was. I can tell. You know, sometimes people have no choice but to turn to the Yakuza. But, even if my chance is gone, you've got a future ahead of you. <laughs> now, I might have called this place a cesspool. But it's more than that. Kamurocho. It's a city of dreams, where even from the gutters, you can shoot for the stars. So if you want to get ahead in this town, well, kid, I'll teach you everything <laughs> He know. got old super fast? Yeah, he did. <laughs> but look, if nothing else, you might want to lay off your little date nights with Kaito. Hey, did you hear that uh, next month for PS Plus they're they're giving out um, Control Ultimate Edition, as well as uh, Destruction All Stars and something and else. Times like these. That's pretty dope. It's hard to even enjoy. Too bad I bought that Ultimate Edition when it was on sale on Christmas. <laughs> Fuck my life. The mole you're searching for is a hired gun employed by Hamura. An assassin. Yes. Shots fired at Microsoft? It really? Why? Well, what did they do? Turns to the same person when he needs someone taken care of. That's your killer, without a doubt. Do you know anything about him? No. But whoever he is, he's a goddamn pro. He's killed several people now the exact same way, yet barely left a trace. Do you know what he looks like at least? Oh, they just added to Xbox as well. The only right, one right, who right, does right, right, right. is Hamura. Oh yeah, and Concrete Genie. I always wanted to play Concrete Genie. Are you still going to pursue this, Tuck? Oh, it's just the, the standard time. edition? You oh, that sucks. Even if you track down <laughs> Hamura and the mole, Oof. that won't be the end of it. Oof. They're Big just oofs. puppets on a stage much larger than you realize. And once you step foot on that stage, there's no hiding from the limelight. Oh, we're talking about how like. Do you understand? Uh, PS Plus next month is pretty good. I'd rather try Destruction All Stars, try which all. looks really fun. <laughs> wouldn't play. I wouldn't pay Nobody for it, but I'd play it free. And you get Control Ultimate Edition Sorry and Concrete about Genie. This boss. And then uh, Sunny here was like, "Oh, shots fired at Microsoft." I was like, "Really? Why?" Well, it was because they they just got Control on uh, their Game Pass, but it's or uh, on Xbox Live or something. But it's only the standard edition and not the ultimate edition. Can I just say one thing, Matsugane-san? <laughs> what is it? I'm like, damn. The Matsugane family I know would never turn a blind eye to cold-blooded murder like this. You say you can't exist with. I need to play uh, the medium Don't as well because I think myself. that comes out on Game Pass. Times have so changed. I need to play medium. Hamura is the Matsugane family now. It's not my place I do to want to play Control, anymore. though. I need to play through all of it. That's my prerogative as Patriarch. So, I'll That's play it when the uh, full version comes out, and I can play on the Thank PS5 you version for everything. or whatever. That'll be, that'll be good times. That might be a good way to uh, set up another stream or something. That game's sick. Uh, I also want to play all the DLC, because like that Alan Wake stuff is super interesting to me. I liked Alan Wake. Alan Wake was A-OK -okay by my books. All that, still no clue where Hamura is. We're back Hamura's to square been missing one. for a while now. Not exactly. The boss slipped us a pretty big hint. <sighs> oh, yeah? When he was talking about Captain Hamura. Hmm? He might be in hiding, yeah. But the family looks to Hamura for guidance now. He's got to be communicating with them somehow. If we can just listen in on one of their conversations, that should lead us straight to him. 
We just gotta get ears in there. You follow me? I think I do. You wanna bug their office. Exactly. True. That might lead us straight to Hammer. But after everything that just went down, you know what'll happen if we get caught. They'll kill us. Which means, we'll just have to enlist the help of an expert burglar. Aha. Uh -huh. You want to make Sugira do it. I'll give him a ring. You go track down some bucks. Me? Make sure they're HD audio and shit. Meet me at the office once you've got them. Sukumo is the guy. Got a wiretap from Sukumo. Oh, fuck! Get away from me! <laughs> well, didn't mean to kill him that easy. Oh my god, what is going on right now? Oh, right, the Kai Hander. The Kai Hander is still after me, no wonder. Oh, Jesus Christ, my fucking. So many battles going on right now. I guess I should go fight one of the bosses just to clean up the streets of crime. Speaking of cleaning up the streets of crime, that Harley Quinn show, the animated one, oh wow, it's really good. I, I big enjoy that one. <laughs> It, uh, it exudes some really strong Venture Bros energy, and I'm all for it. But it's got the benefit of being, like, a really self-aware DC property as well, and, like, it does some really cool things with the uh, characters. Really, really good. Highly recommend it for anyone that, like, enjoys their, uh, enjoys their DC superhero stuff. Really, guys? Because they also write the characters really, really well. And it's genuinely funny. It's a good show. Very good show. Glad it got renewed for season three. Oh my god! There's so many of these people. Leave me the fuck alone, please. Yes, we're doing this. Fucking Kai Hen. Fight the big guy here. Food. Kaito Sakakiba. You grab that bike. Here, eat bike. No weapons? No weapons? Shit. Pylon! Ow. Oh god, he's eating his Doritos. Shit. 
damn it. Miss that a triangle prompt whenever it shows up, huh? So much pizza bun. Or bun in general. Oh my fucking god. And stay down. Okay, bye. Going gets tough. Oh, grabbing enemies, picking up items. Makes sense. I'm going the wrong way. Just because he's fucking. Ugh! Ty hit! Holy shit, there's so many of you right now! God damn. These guys are all out today. Like, <laughs> they're like sending their entire force after me. What the fuck? Oh my god. I can't go 100 meters without like running into a group of goons. Stay down. The streets are just. Oh my god, really? <laughs> Fucking Kayan Gang! The streets are just littered with thugs today. guys Tsukumo Hey Tsukumo Oh Yagamishi What is it this time I'm trying to keep this on the down low here but I'm looking for bugs Think you can help me with that? <laughs> you know who you're talking to, right? Of course I can. Thought so. Well, any time works for me as long as I've got the parts. You're gonna make them by hand? I won't find a safer pair of hands than literally my pair of hands. Plus, you get a friend discount. If you say so. Anyway, what do you need? He's I'll run to a bro. department store and pick them up. <laughs> no need. Here's a riddle. You can get me from here, but I am not here. What am I? What? <laughs> Online shopping! Things get here in no time with rush shipping. I'll just need you to give me the cash. How much are we talking? For parts and labor, let's say... a hundred thousand? That's with your friend discount? <laughs> yes, sir. 
I'm taking a loss on it for you, Yagamishi. <sighs> All right. Just let me know when you have the money, and I'll put the order in. Um, I do have the money. He's carrying like a million yen on him right now. <laughs> Here you go. That's gonna sound good. It's gonna take a while. Guess I'll go fight more goons, because apparently my threat hasn't gone down yet. Oh, I went the wrong way. Oh, that's a smoking booth. Huh. Big time. Yeah, be sad. Cheese him out with bikes and shit. Oh fuck, he's coming my way! Big damage. <laughs> Fuck. Right, he does that shit. Jesus. Oh god, he's about to hit. <laughs> Quick! Eat your sushi! Kim. Hey man. I know there was some shit going on out there, but I need to buy more um things. Yeah, just give me all your buns again, please. Battle time. Boss, the heated. Okay, we'll do one more. Uh, this way. Komodo height. 
Is that today's pog champ? <laughs> Wait for Sukubo to call. Instead, I will buy steak. I don't know if you guys seen this, but this is literally the owner of Ikanari's steak right here. They put him right next to his poster. Like his real life poster. It's amazing. Look at this shit. So good. <laughs> oh man. So funny. I'm gonna come and buy your food. And like, when I first met him, it was basically a whole fucking advertisement for his restaurant. <laughs> Like, did you know we use the freshest ingredients? And that's why it's always so cheap. So come on by. <laughs> ah, it's the spot. I will admit, though, I would go and eat here. It looks amazing. Fuck yeah, I would buy your steaks. Mm. Message. Oh, from Sana. Oh, Kabata-san. Uh-oh. Is, is he stalking you again? He came to my live performance today, but it seems like he's still suspicious about you and me. Uh, we must have looked like a good couple. Oh, my. Hmm. Keep an eye out. How about you? Let's text. Don't do it. No, not today. Okay, weird. Oh! Hello? <laughs> the long-awaited time has come. Your order is ready. Long? Felt like you did that pretty fast, actually. I'll be waiting in the usual spot. Mind coming over? Not at all. See you in a bit. Sick. Hmm, excuse me. Wow, I could finally uh, travel around Kamurocho without being assaulted every five steps. Jesus. <laughs> Fucking Kaiheen gang. The Kaiheen everywhere system. <laughs> they couldn't give you Majima, so they gave you the Kaiheen gang. Fucker! God! Really? Damn it! <laughs> you sons of bitches! <laughs> you think at some point you would stop trying to fight me? This one guy is beating down on all of your goons. I guess, it's, I guess it's like the same, like, mentality of like, why the fuck would you ever want to be a criminal in Gotham City, or, or in, especially in Metropolis, right? <laughs> that, the, the, the employment situation of goons in, in Gotham and in Metropolis must be pretty good. Must be getting benefits and all that kind of shit. Uh, pay must be really good in order for you to, like, stay there. <laughs> and risk going up against the likes of Superman, Batman, fucking Flash in Central City. Like, what the hell? <laughs> Says the guy who makes bugs in ten minutes. <laughs> well, I can't refuse a compliment. Here you go. Well, I suppose if you work for, like, Lex Luthor, you must be getting some pretty decent pay. To some extent. They're designed to blend into a power outlet, so just plug it in. Oh, and the signal range is 100 meters. It'll even go through metal plates or other obstacles, meaning you can listen from, say, the roof of a building? That's perfect. I think this is gonna work. You can turn them off remotely, too. So you don't have to listen constantly if you don't want to. And I have to say, even a great detective like you would have trouble finding these, Yagamishi. <laughs> I'm not sure that's entirely true, but thanks anyway. You're a lifesaver, Tsukumo. <laughs> You're very welcome. Nice.
Now that I think That's about weird. it, most of the crime that happens in Metropolis is like either petty crime or like or like like stuff that Luther usually creates. Or or usually it has to do with like alien threats. It's usually not like a bunch of gangs or like goons and shit. Like 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 in Gotham, right? At least to my to my knowledge. Because whenever I think of like Superman threats, it's always like something from like <laughs> another world or like manufactured by Luther Corp. Lex Corp. Yeah. So I don't think I don't think that there's like actual goon hiring or anything like that in Metropolis. Because I think the goons like. Or like, let's go to let's go to Gotham instead. Oh, At least like, all we're doing is fa going up against a man. <laughs> oh, <boy>. <laughs> <laughs> Only for them to underestimate how like pragmatic um, Batman is. Oh yeah, check my gift box. Red pyro scene. Okay. Is this materia? Ooh. Oh, this has given me like oh, those are my Kickstarter or quick starter rewards. Shit. <laughs> Dick medium. Yeah, maybe I'll get this artisanal shogi. Shogi set. Hey, just stopping by for a bit. More like I got dragged here against my will. You get the bugs, Chuck? Sure did. Good. Take a seat. No, I did not want to go forward that way. Just let me... There we go. So, you want to tap the Matsugane office? Kaito-san told you, huh? Yep. Now explain what you told me, Sugiyura-kun. Well, uh... It's impossible. No way I can sneak in. They've literally got guys on watch, man. The cameras had seen me going in and out, too. And think about what would happen if I got caught. They'd beat me to death. Guess we're screwed. This isn't a joke, Kaito-san. What are we gonna do? All right, all right, chill. I thought up something else. If Sugiura doesn't want to sneak in, we'll just find you a disguise. Huh? Just hear me out. You know this guy, Tak? Who's that? Guy's got a killer jacket. One of the Matsugane goons, yeah? Yep. Name's Tashiro-kun. The snazziest fucking Yakuza in town. Guy never takes his shades off, even at night. <laughs> what a douchebag. You know, his height and build are awful close. You better not be thinking what I think you're thinking. If Tashiro-kun was wearing a face mask, nobody'd know he was actually a different person. They wouldn't have a clue. Good idea. So what? You want me to dress up like Tashiroku and infiltrate the Matsugane office? Bingo. First things first, we gotta find him and grab his clothes and shades. The rest will be simple. Just walk in there and plant the bugs. Oh, and here I thought I was gonna be able to sit this part out. It's all in your capable hands now. I gotta say, Kaito-san, you really thought this through. You know, before today, I always thought I was gonna end up back in the family somehow. What's that? But there's no way. Not now that I defied the boss. Guess there's no turning back, though. Might as well see this through to the end. Gotcha. Now let's go get Tashiro-kun's clothes. Let's hit it. Kaito-san. Sup? Do you, uh, have any idea where Tashiro-kun is? 
Let me think. Last I heard, he was working at a cabaret. Looking there might be our best bet. Which club? I think it was called Emerald Hills, over on Shichifuku Street. Sounds like we have our next stop then. Let's roll, Tom. Emerald Hills. Green Hill Zone? Oh my fucking god, I just realized it is Green Hill Zone. Keep up, huh? This is a Sega game! <laughs> Which Sonic was it that introduced Emerald Hills? Was Sonic 2? I'm pretty certain Emerald Hills was a was an actual Sonic level. Where'd you go? Oh, that is the Genda Law Office. Hey, do you have a second? Welcome, sirs. Table for two? Actually, we want to ask you a question. This place is a Matsugane joint, yeah? Uh, yes, sir. Why do you ask? We're looking for somebody. You know a guy named Tashiro? Yeah, yeah, Tashiro? yeah. Tashiro? Flash Sonic jacket, too. always wears his sunglasses. You gotta know the guy. Oh, him. There you go. I knew you. You know, that Any Sonic movie was actually pretty <laughs> actually. decent. I got it. He was in admit. the club just a second ago. It was pretty the customer fun. Customer was giving us some trouble, though. So he saw the map. Like that movie and, and Detective Pikachu ended up being like out for pretty solid video what game adaptations. <laughs> Probably toward Tenkaichi Street. He said there's a back alley, nobody ever goes in there. Smart. If you're gonna beat the crap out of someone, better to do it where nobody's gonna find you. Sometimes I think you kind of miss doing that shit. Or like anyway, video game movies, I guess. Let's get moving. Because they don't right. have to follow Thanks, any pal. actual like video oh, games. Of course. Which is more than I can say for something like fucking Hitman, Assassin's Creed, Tomb Raider, <laughs> Super Mario Brothers. It's the, the long list of video game movies. Boy, that Metal Gear Solid movie is gonna suck shit. Boy, I have no faith in that Uncharted movie. <laughs> I have a little bit of faith for that Last of Us uh, HBO show, though. I think because it's an HBO show, and and, and primarily because it's a, a series, I have more faith in it. Rather than trying to condense it into a fucking, like, hour, two hour long movie or something like that, you know? Who's this guy? It's just made me. I just remembered all the whole, the whole kerfuffle about uh, making that Shadow of the Colossus movie, and it was the worst. Ugh. Ugh. The worst. Fuck, right. Monster Hunter and Resident Evil. Jesus Christ. Those also suck. Well, whatever. Oh, there he is. That is a flashy ass jacket, holy shit. Listen, you old fuck! Didn't you see the sign? You can look but not touch. <laughs> Please, I never touched anyone! Huh? Bullshit, you didn't! The girls know all about your pervy ass! There he is, Tashiro Kum. You, uh, weren't kidding about how he dresses. I'm actually kind of impressed. Huh? Wait, you're Yagami! Oh, congrats. You recognize the guy your whole family's after. Shut it, asshole! Um, I I'm just gonna... Hey, get the hell back here! Damn it! He got away because of you! Let me guess. You made that up to try and squeeze cash out of the poor bastard. 
guy like that would cop a feel even if your girl wanted him to. Huh? The fuck do you know? Huh. Sounds like you were right on the money. Of course. That's how shit goes around here. It's only fair that we take his clothes, yeah? What do you mean? The hell are you talking about? We'll give them back as soon as we're done. Won't be long, promise. Fuck off! You got any idea how much these threats cost? Not a one. But you know how dangerous Kamuro Cho is. Should have expected somebody want to jump you. We won't have to hurt you if you just hand them over. Everything will stay nice and clean, too. It's a win-win. So, are you stripping or not? What kind of question is that, pretty boy? If you want my clothes, you're gonna have to rip them off! Okay. That could be a raise. why I was reminded of this, but apparently, um, one of the voice actress, one of the voice actresses from, uh, Capcom, uh, Jeanette Mouse, who brought, like, a bunch of different characters to life in a bunch of Resident Evil games and whatnot, including, uh, the Witch Sisters in, in Village, okay. the most recent one. Let's just get this she passed Let's away, talk. uh, from yep. colon cancer, and she Don't was only 38. walking in on this. Makes me sad. Capcom had to put out a uh, put out a statement earlier today loaded. on Twitter. His wallet's burst into the goddamn seams. Don't take his money. We're not thieves. They seen the new yeah, Tesla model yeah, S I yet? Know. Wait. No. Don't kind of stealing? Like I said earlier, we're just borrowing them for a bit. If you say no, so. No, I have you're not. You're the lawyer. Man, they fit even better than I was expecting. You look good, Doc. Mm. That's the last thing I want to hear. Anyway, you better get to the Matsugane office. He looks way too or similar or to him. What the fuck did they do? Speaking of, Kaito-san, think you can take care of him? Huh? What do you mean? We can't leave the guy naked outside this time of year. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he can. Always a big softy. Sure, I'll handle him. Can't go with you anyway. Not looking like regular old Kaito. Thanks. Talk. Don't mess this up. I won't. Tashiro Kun style. Okay, let's take a look at this model. <clears throat> yeah, it looks like a Model S. Zero to sixty in under two seconds. That is. That is like. That is blisteringly fast. How the fuck? Oops. <laughs> How the fuck? That is that is faster than like a lot of like fucking supercars. What the hell? Yeah, I'm I'm going through the I'm just speeding through the uh thing here. Model S starts at 79 grand. Hundred and nineteen grand for the plaid powertrain that goes three hundred and ninety miles with a sub two second zero to sixty time. The plaid plus with five hundred and twenty miles at one hundred and thirty nine thousand. Man, so much for fucking trying to make fucking like affordable electric electric cars. Tesla, Jesus Christ. That is also like, what is that? Is such a weird steering wheel. That is that is a really weird steering wheel. I don't know how I feel about that. I mean, otherwise the interior looks pretty cool. <laughs> Just play video games in your car. Uh
God damn. Dash can run Witcher 3 on it. Yeah, but like... I feel like... Uh, I feel like I don't need to buy... That's just like... That's just like extra cash for no reason. You know what I mean? Like, fuck that. I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> cool idea, but Christ. What even is the point? I was actually just, like, I was browsing a lot of, like, BMW stuff recently, because I actually quite like uh, BMW designs. I've grown to like the new versions. Hello? But I was looking at, like, BMW <laughs> Calgary, the and there's, like, the, uh, what, 228i, and I was like, ooh, that looks oh, nice. Oh, spare me. They're not my clothes. <laughs> but, okay. Okay, how about yeah. this? See you out front of the Matsugane office. Cars All right. is a right whole over. other realm. And I feel like, uh, considering how the world is moving right now, buying a new car that is not electric is probably a bad investment. <laughs> right? Or at the very least, like a hybrid or something like that. So it's like, you know what? You can definitely wait. And then pick up an electric car in the future. Or something. Yeah, I was I was just like just looking at all the BMW W ones and I'm like, yeah, they're pretty nice. I do quite like beamers. <laughs> Except they they attract the wrong type of driver, so I don't know what that says about me. Yeah, I mean like that seem that seems to be the right move too, right? It'd be like, you know what would be nice? Like yeah, I got, like, this Nissan and stuff, but it's not, like, 100% my car. When when I when I get to a point where I can get my own, like, actually 100% my own car, I'd, I would wait until, like, there's, like, a full electric option or something. Am I secret asshole driver? No. Sorry for the wait, Sugira. <laughs> hey. Sugira? Sorry, I think you have the wrong guy. <laughs> God, I just can't help it. God, we don't have time for this. <laughs> I can't help it, man. That's the loudest disguise I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Maybe you want to try planting these instead? S sorry, sorry. It's, it's perfect, honest. Yeah, whatever. Can we get this over with now? Yagami-san, I should be able to get a read on the bugs right after you set them. Just come on out when you're all done. Got it. So, you ready? Oops. I need a... Yeah, it's really not that funny. Stylish as ever, Tashiro. Me and you, we gotta hit the club sometime. Hey, Tashiro. All clear at Emerald Hills? Glad you can take care of yourself. We got enough to worry about looking for Yagami. By the way, mind keeping an eye on the office for me? Gonna head to the convenience store, grab a snack. I'll be back in five. Doesn't hmm. look like he noticed. Uh, okay, I gotta... I gotta attack... Cat! Oh, there it is. Hey. Suspicious. Okay. Search for three outlets. What the? Sus 
suspicious. Matsugani's office. Yagami. Can you hear me? Loud and clear. Now hurry up and get your ass down here. Got it. The hell are you doing, Tashiro? You know uh -oh. no going in the boss's room without permission. If anything happened, it'd be on me. The hell are you ignoring me for? Say something, damn it! <laughs> what Whoops. the? Yagami! <laughs> uh, guess I'm busted, huh? You got balls climbing into the lion's mouth knowing you're just gonna get eaten! Don't let this asshole leave here alive! I thought, like, you would've knocked him out, and then, like, his fucking hair would show up. Oh, man, that would've been really funny. Dude, this office is fucked. So much for like the stealthy approach, Jesus. Ah, fuck. Now's my chance. <laughs> You're not getting away that easy. Say your prayers, shithead! Oh my god, uh, whoa, he's got a gun. We have laws against those, you know. <laughs> laws? Says the guy who's trespassing! Damn it. How am I gonna get out of this? What the? That'll work. That was convenient. That was a close one, Yagami-san. Did you cut the lights back there? Yep. Heard everything thanks to the bugs. Flipped the breaker at the last second. Thanks, Sugira. You saved my life. Won't be safe for long if we stick around here. Let's get moving. I was gonna say, yeah. maybe you should, like, leave. Like, you are not very stealthy right now. <laughs> I think we're safe now. What about the bugs? Can you hear what they're saying? Give me a sec. That's all it takes? Yep. Well, everything seems fine. Huh? It sounds like they're making a call already. To the man of the hour himself, Hamura. They're reporting what just went down. Can you tell where he's hiding? One sec. Uh, something about Chohan? Isn't that some kind of dice game? Guess he's at a gambling hall then. But where can you play Chohan? If we want to gamble, all we have to do is ask a gambler. And I think I know just the spot. Oh, you mean the casino? The one under Koibrai? Somebody there has to know where to find Chohan in this town. For sure. Guess in that case. Yeah. I'll handle it from here. Got it. Thanks for the backup, though.
got it. Uh. Ugh, this place sucks. So she knows anything? Hey, Talk. sorry to interrupt. Honey, I ain't selling. <laughs> That's not at all what I'm looking for. I heard there's somewhere around here I can get in on some Chohan. You know the place? Chohan? Never heard of it. Is it any fun? Huh? Uh, probably? I'm in! Take me! Take me! Anywhere is better than this shithole. <laughs> I'm gonna have to take a rain check on that. Can't bring you if I don't know where it is. Well, figure it out then! <sighs> so bored. Okay. Man, I'm gonna be raking in the cash in no time. <laughs> yeah, someone else. Ah, damn it! This next game's gonna be mine. Looks like he's serious about this. Maybe I should ask if he knows anything. Hmm. Who else is there? Is this guy? Oh, wait. It's kind of a flashy, Fucking uh... shit, look at the ass on her! Oh my god! <laughs> I'm certainly not here to play cards. I don't even know about this place. <laughs> hey, uh, shit, look at the ass on her! Hmm? What do you want? Know anywhere around here a guy can play some Chohan? Chohan, huh? Yeah, I think there's a joint in the Champion District. Heard their exclusive is all fuck. You actually know a place? Could you maybe tell me the name? Hmm, I could. Sure, but... But what? Check her out. That chick's got the goods, right? Uh, sure. I guess she's got... goods? What's your point? I want to have a drink with her. Can you make introductions for me? I have to be your wingman? Good-looking guy like you's got a better chance of sealing the deal, right? I mean, look at me. Ugh, oh, I can't believe this. You better tell me if I do this for you. Of course, man! <laughs> oh, Jesus. Mind if I join you? Please, take a seat. You come here often? You bet. There's three things I love in life. Stiff drinks, risky bets, and handsome men. Oh, yeah? Just once. I want someone to seduce me like they do in the movies. This isn't really my thing, but I guess that's how the game is played. Uh, okay. Um, can I buy you a drink? Make it a martini. A gambling woman's drink. Ah, uh, Christ. Let me guess. Vodka martini. Shake it, not stir Oh, Jesus. <laughs> right you are. You're a bigger movie buff than I expected. <laughs> what, is, what is going on? Mind if I buy you one? My friend will probably want to join us, too. Oh, you only want to drink? Uh, huh? I just told you I'm in the gambling mood. So, what do you say we spice things up a bit? Here's the deal. I'll drink with you. If you beat me at poker. Ah, oh, Christ. Okay, it's a deal. Ah, oh, Christ. Ah, oh, God. You know what? Yeah. Let's do this battle. I'll try the poker game once, and then we'll call it a night. <laughs> oh, God. Not what I was expecting to do at all. Time to suck shit at poker. 
Well, uh... Let's do it! Yeah. <laughs> Ugh, okay, uh... Sickly Kent- Voluptuous Woman! Hmm... Hmm... I'll check. Just keep raising. Keep raising. Keep going. Oh. Fuck. <laughs> Raise! <laughs> the fact that that AI is like... He's also raising a lot, right? Fuck it, I only have to beat the woman, but like... Even then, look at how many chips these people have! Wow. Okay, I'll call. Oh! Damn it! <laughs> so close! <laughs> Yeah, well. Th that's it? Seems I won. That's life. You win some, you lose some. Sure. Well, what a good sport. You know the game pretty well. Bet you never lose too big, huh? <laughs> There's something of an art to it, isn't there? What a team you and I would make. All right. I'll join you for this drink. Really? Great. Let me grab my friend. Hey, why are you the one having all the fun? She agreed to drink with us after a game. Now go grab some seats. Wait, seriously? Ha, I owe you for this, man! You're damn right you do. I need to know where I can play Chohan, remember? Oh, yeah. It's in the Champion District. Only shop without a sign. You can't miss it. Bar with no sign. Knock on the shutter three times, and they'll ask you what you want. You respond with the password, Can I talk to Moon? Knock three times, then the password. Next, they'll say, He says he wants the steak, to which you respond, Chateaubriand, blue. And that's it. Joints underground, but clearly that ain't a problem for you. Thanks. That's a huge help. Now let's get drinking. Actually, I think I'm gonna have to pass. I need to go. You're lost, pal. An ass like that is a once-in-a-lifetime deal. Oh yeah, she likes vodka martinis. Order it shaken, not stirred. The hell's that supposed to mean? <laughs> Yo. Kaito-san. Sugiura told me you'd be here. So, you find out where Hamura is? Yep. A gambling hall in the Champion District. Really? Where at? Apparently the only store without a sign. They've got the club set up underground. Huh. Fancy. By the way, Talk. 
What happens when you find Hamura? The first thing I'm gonna do is vent. After everything he's done, he deserves it. If I'm honest, I'd take more joy in seeing him squirm than finding the mole right about now. <laughs> Glad we're on the same page. Let's go. All right. I'll just save here. Sick. All right, we'll come back to this um, another day. I was thinking about taking tomorrow off of the streams. Important to have a break every now and then, I suppose. Uh, I'll see how I feel tomorrow, but yeah. Thanks for stopping by, but uh, I will catch you guys next time, for surezies. I'll let you know when I uh, start again. Uh, it might be tomorrow, maybe not, I don't know. Mm. We'll see, we'll see. Yeah, later, Gator. Peace.